good morning all of you in this session we are going to start with the 10th standard chemistry and physics where unit number 7 classification of elements the periodic table series number 10 is going to be discussed earlier we completed various classifications based on the perception of various scientists and also periodic trends in in terms of atomic radius valency uh, uh, got completed entered into ionization energy so how these are varied in the groups as well as in the periods of modern periodic table are going to be discussed in series number 10 in addition to this we already completed unit number 1 to 6 the entire detailed explanation available on the channel called the world of competitive chemistry let us enter into our series number 10 of unit 7 ionization energy so this is the periodic property which can be varied in the group and the period in the systematic way first we have to know what is the what is mean by ionization enthalpy and how its gradation is possible the energy required to remove an electron from the outermost orbital of the neutral gaseous atom is called the ionization energy so i am taking one of the example so here the central nucleus will be there and around this electrons are uh, moving in their orbits right so the amount of energy in order to require in order to remove this electron from the outermost shell of the gaseous atom the atom must be present in the gaseous state so then only it is considered as a ionization enthalpy how extent we need energy to remove the electron from the outermost shell when it is present in the gaseous state that is regarded as its ionization enthalpy so here central part is composed of nucleus where nucleons are present which are uh, constituted with uh, uh, protons and neutrons and different energy levels will be there and uh, wherever electron is present in the valency outermost shell is said to be a valency shell and the amount of energy if we supply this electron will be ejected out that energy required to remove the electron electron from the valency shell is denoted as ionization enthalpy hydrogen being it is smallest and only one electron will be there in terms of ionization enthalpy kilojoules per mole it will be 13 10 kilojoules per mole to remove two electrons present in the helium it is a it is a noble gas and with the two electrons and completely filled so that we have to supply extra amount of energy that is 2370 kilojoules per mole so this is denoted as a ionization potential in order to remove the electron when the atom is present in the gaseous state is denoted as ionization energy and uh, we will have the deep descript description about this one what is meant by first ionization enthalpy so here uh, atom may not be contributed may not be constituted with only one one electron so here so many electrons will be present that depends upon its own atomic number and electronic configuration of that so in that case so if you want to remove only one electron or two electrons or three electrons in that manner you can regard it as a first ionization enthalpy second ionization enthalpy third ionization enthalpy and so on right so here what is meant by fast ionization enthalpy or fast ionization energy the energy required to remove fast electron from the outermost orbit or shell of the neutral gaseous atom is called a fast ionization enthalpy so even though these many 11 electrons are present in the given atom only we are trying to remove the one electron from the outermost shell that energy is called fast ionization only fast electron is going to be removed right so from the central nucleus whatever the orbital present in the outermost shell that is uh, the distance regarded as the atomic radius and the energy required to remove the outermost electron is said to be a fast ionization enthalpy now uh, we have a, what is first ionization what is second ionization enthalpy the energy required to remove the electron from unipositive ion after removing one electron what happens after removing one electron that will be converted into a positively charged one from that positively charged one if you are going to remove one more electron so that it turned into plus one now turned into plus two that uh, converting uni positive into di positive by removing one more electron that is denoted as a second ionization enthalpy so neutral metal i am considering is in gaseous state by giving energy of ionization enthalpy 1 it is turned into metal positive and removing one electron this ie1 is denoted as first ionization energy we are removing only one electron from the outermost shell 
come secretly m positive for subsequently it participate in more one electron removal by the supply of ionization enthalpy 2 so that m positive di positive will be generated m plus 2 is called m di positive metal di positive ion and the energy required to remove the electron from mono positive is called a second ionization energy and denoted with i e2 so here it is clearly depicted in the pictorial form metal by supplying i1 it turned into m positive m positive by giving i2 second ionization enthalpy turned into m plus 2 means di positive metal ion and uh, ionization enthalpy second ionization enthalpy of the element is higher than its first ionization enthalpy why always when you compare to ionization energy 1 ionization energy 2 will be higher I E two is greater than I E one. What could be the reason for this one? This is answer collected from Bijus. Thank you for your information. The first ionization energy removes the electron from neutral atom, while second ionization energy removes the electron from positively charged one. See, from the neutral atom, you are removing first electron. From the positive charged species, you are removing second electron. Where the probability of removal will be more. and uh, the electron tightly bound in the positively charged due to increasing the attractive forces therefore second ionization enthalpy will be always higher when compared to first so it it will be clearly explained here when you see this neutral the size will be larger after removing one of the electron there is a shrink in the size you can observe here in positive will be smaller when compared to neutral and uh, when compared to larger species here smaller species having more attractive forces so that extra energy is required to remove second most electron from that so there still decrease in the size is possible as the positive charge rises the size will be greatly decreased so that's the reason we always ionization potential 2 will be always greater than ionization potential 1 so that is uh, uh, explained here because uh, as the size decreases what happens central nucleus having strong forces and the outermost shell so that it will be very difficult to remove second most electron from that species now uh, ionization second ionization energy of the element is higher than first ionization energy by so same question is given in any other form also uh, by taking a simplest example we explain in a, in a deliberated way first and and the second ionization energy of magnesium is considered here this is answer collected from topper thank you for your uh, information uh, i am taking magnesium as an example where magnesium by losing one of the electron turned into mg positive and for this removal of one electron we require 7.646 electron volts of energy magnesium to magnesium positive is converted by supplying 7.646 electron volts of energy magnesium positive to magnesium di positive we require still higher energy that is 15.035 electron volts this is the exact quantified values in order to depict uh, this, this much amount of energy is required to convert a neutral atom into mono positive mono positive into di positive so this first step uh, energy is denoted as ionization enthalpy 1 and the second step energy is given as a ionization enthalpy 2 so thank you for giving the information now uh, let us move on to what are the factors which are influencing ionization enthalpy ionization energy are mainly depending upon five factors one is nuclear charge second is screening effect or shielding effect third is penetration power of the orbitals the fourth is stable configuration and fifth is atomic radius so based on these five factors our ionization energy values depends so there is a regular uh, regular increase or decrease in the ionization energy based on all these five factors let us find how these are uh, going to influence ionization enthalpy of uh, individual elements which are present in the modern periodic table and uh, move on to first factor called the nuclear charge more the nuclear charge more is the ionization enthalpy so it's a very simple thing as the nuclear charge increases ionization enthalpy values also increases there is a direct proportionality let us compare sodium with the chlorine sodium with the electronic uh, configuration of uh, uh, 1s2 2s2 2p6 
X3, S1, and uh, being it is associated with 11 protons and 11 electrons in this, and we require 5.14 electron volts of energy in order to remove one of the electron from its gaseous state. As we consider chlorine with uh, uh, atomic number 17 and uh, always it have a strong tendency to gain the electron rather to release. That's why it's very difficult to remove the electron because by gaining extra only one electron, it will attain the noble gas configuration. That's the reason why chlorine always tends to gain rather uh, releasing electron. So here extremely higher ionization enthalpy values you can observe for this chlorine because here nuclear charge is still higher when compared to sodium nucleus uh, composed of 11 protons in sodium but chlorine 17 protons are their higher nuclear charge very difficult to remove the electron from its outermost shell so that chlorine will lose electron by giving extra energy called 17.4 many folds higher when compared to the sodium sodium with a 5.14 but chlorine we require extremely large that is 11.4 electron volts of energy is required so these are the trends with respect to nuclear charge as the nuclear charge rises ionization enthalpy value also increased there is a direct proportionality by taking sodium and chlorine obviously chlorine will be higher when compared to sodium Move on to second factor, which influencing ionization energy, that is called a screening effect. That is also known as shielding effect. In order to explain this, I'm taking simplest example. One is lithium, second is cesium. Both belongs to same group, alkali metal group. That is the first group elements. Lithium being it is associated with 1s2, 2s1. Only two main shells are present. But cesium being it is associated with 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d10, 4s2, 4p6, 4d10, 5s2, 5p6, uh, 6s1. This is uh, this is not in a, uh, exactly with ABO, but in accordance with this electronic configuration I am saying. And uh, here we have these many shells being it is associated with a 55. How many? 55 atomic number. 55 protons are present in the central nucleus. That's the reason why so many shells. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth cell, shell. Valency shell will be the 6s1. So here, these many shells are present. So from the central to most shell, the distance is far away, far larger. That's the reason why. So there is a screening effect. All these uh, inner, inner uh, shells are becoming like a wall. Because wall, they will shield the effect of nucleus and the outermost valency electron. So that electron will be uh, removed very conveniently. But lithium being it is a smaller, the nuclear info in uh, influence and the outermost shell, the reason why here more number of shells are not there. So here electrons being tightly um, uh, influenced by the nucleus and the removal of electron becomes very difficult. That's the reason why always when you consider in a group, Always from top to bottom, ionization enthalpy values are gradually decreasing. Smaller the size, greater the ionization enthalpy, greater the size, smaller the ionization enthalpy. So there is an inverse proportionality with respect to radius. What could be the reason? That is because of screening effect, which is also known as shielding effect. More the number of shells, more will be the shielding more will be the protection and the electron will be easily lost by giving small amount of energy. Right, this is called a screening effect. Move on to third factor called the penetration power of the orbital. Penetration power in the sense uh, what uh, orbital will be moving uh, inside towards the nucleus very strongly. So inner uh, shrinking, inner shrinking of the orbital towards the nucleus is called a penetration power. Right. So when you when you consider S orbital, P orbital, D orbital, and F orbital, always S orbital being it is near to the nucleus having strong influence, so that it will be more shrinking, more penetrated towards the nucleus. So that removal of electron from the S orbital is very difficult task when compared to P, somewhat far away, and D is a next level, and F is a far still far away, so that it will be somewhat easy to remove the electron from this F orbital because this purely based on the penetration power. Penetration is nothing but orbital belongs to same main shell. I'm taking simplest example, 4s, 4p, 4d, and 4f. Let us assume all these belongs to 4s, 
4p, 4d, and 4f orbitals of same main shell, but orbital uh, penetration is different. S orbital strongly uh, imbibed are shrinking in uh, into the nucleus when compared to p and followed by d and followed by f orbital. That's the reason why it's uh, from the same main shell. So it, we have to give very less amount of energy to remove the electron from this F shell when compared to this 4S shell. 4S, uh, we have to give extra energy even though all are in the same uh, same level, but uh, shrinking nature, that is called a penetration power. So that S orbital with a higher nature, so it's very difficult to remove the electron from S orbital. Extra energy is required. So this will be the order of penetration and the same order will be the ionization potential. Greater the penetration power, greater will be the ionization enthalpy. There is a direct proportionality. S orbital with a maximum penetration power with a maximum extent of ionization enthalpy value. So it's very difficult to remove the electron from S orbital rather than f orbital so this is uh, this is the factor called the penetration power move on to fourth factor called a stable configuration so i'm giving a, a description for this one here whenever the orbital is half filled or completely filled those orbitals are regarded as those are concluded as very stable in nature half filled orbitals when we consider p orbital three orbitals are the half filled and when you consider the orbital, five orbitals are half filled. And the completely filled means six electrons are required for P and uh, 10 electrons are required for the orbital. In this case, you can say these orbitals are said to be more stable. Any element with the pertaining half filled or completely filled electronic configuration, those are regarded as a stable kind of nature. If it is stable, it's very difficult to remove the electron. Higher the stability, greater the extent of energy is required to remove the electrons. That's why we are taking example nitrogen and oxygen. What is the general trend of atomic size? Nitrogen oxygen size will be lowered actually. Means left to right hand size is smaller. If size is smaller, it's very difficult to remove the electron in general. But exceptionally, nitrogen ionization value is higher than oxygen. Generally, oxygen should be larger compared to nitrogen. This is the general theoretical perception. But exceptionally, reverse case will be observed. That is purely because of stable electronic configuration. This is called an exceptional condition. So stable configuration always have higher ionization enthalpy. Being nitrogen is NS2 what we can say 1s2 2s2 2p3 means pr is half filled if p orbital is half filled what happens it will give it will impart the stability be stable it's very difficult to remove the electron when you consider oxygen 1s2 2s2 2p4 means one more electron is there uh, than half filled so it has strong tendency to lose this one more electron so that half filled configuration stable will come so oxygen having more tendency to lose the electron when compared to nitrogen that's the reason why oxygen ip value is less compared to nitrogen so that is purely because of stable configuration generally nitrogen to oxygen it should be raised but exceptionally nitrogen with a stable half filled configuration have higher ionization potential value so this is a comparison between nitrogen and the oxygen. And next property factor which are having influence in the ionization is the atomic radius. Just now we discussed how atomic radius will show the impact on ionization enthalpy. Smaller the size, greater the uh, greater the force of uh, attraction, so that uh, very difficult to remove the electron when compared to larger. So let us see. Uh, same group element like fluorine and iodine fluorine iodine both are the members of halogen family but fluorine with the atomic radius of 64 uh, picometers iodine with 133 picometers ionization enthalpy of fluorine is given as 17.42 whereas iodine is given as a 10.42 what could be the reason that is purely because of size here, fluorine bucket is smaller. It requires extra energy to lose the electron. That's why we require higher energy always. When we are descending down the group from top to bottom, the regular trend will be ionization enthalpy values gradually 
decreases that is purely because of radius increases means there is a inverse proportionality as the atomic radius increases ionization enthalpy values get decreases fluorine higher iodine lower and the same can be applicable to sodium and cesium and uh, these two elements belongs to alkali metals sodium with 186 picometer size and a cesium with a 262 picometers sodium 186 picometers it's very difficult to remove the electrons so the 5.14 electron volts is required when you go to cesium uh, this is the bottommost element of this uh, alkaline earth uh, sorry alkali metal so that size will be large so here it's very easy to remove the electron and 3.89 electron volts energy is sufficient for this so this is purely because of atomic radius as the radius increases ionization potential decreases inverse proportionality will be assigned here okay. now let us see what are the periodic trends of ionization potential values in the group binder period so just now we discussed how the radius show the impact on the ionization potential that can be applicate applicable here ionization energy decreases as we go on to the uh, down of the group uh, generally uh, in any size of the atom from top to bottom gradually increases medium medium to larger in this manner uh, as we descending down the group size of the atom increases so when size of the atom increases it will be very simple to remove the electron that's the reason why lithium is assigned with 520 kJ per mole sodium with a 495 potassium 418 rubidium with 403 cesium with 375 francium with 380 kJ per mole that's the reason why as the size increases ionization enthalpy values got decreased so not only for this alkali you may go with any kind of group always from topmost element to bottommost element always ionization enthalpy values will be great gradually decreases this will be the general ionization potential of any group with the arrow moving towards down means a decrease in the values you can observe size will be increased and the ionization enthalpy values will be decreased and when you consider in a period so i'm going with the period how the ionization enthalpy values will be varied Uh, what will be the periodic trend in period? Ionization enthalpy decreases as we go down a group. Just now we discussed. So here uh, it will be decreased, but it will be increases from left to right hand side in a period. That is purely because of when we are moving from left to right hand side, atomic size is shrinking. That is decreasing. As the atomic size decreases, we require extra energy to remove the electron. That's the reason why ionization potential value will be raised. Okay, so that is given for the second period element here. Lithium with the two s one electronic configuration and this electron removed by giving five twenty kilojoules per mole energy. And beryllium with the two s two electronic configuration, we have to give extra energy. That is eight ninety nine kilojoules. Boron. With a 2s2 2p1, a not one energy is required. Carbon 2s2 2p2, 1086 kilojoules. Nitrogen exceptional because half filled configuration, you will get extra energy that is 1400 kilojoules per mole. Oxygen actually increased. Actually, it should increase, but there is an exceptional case because of half filled. So oxygen will 1314. There is an exemption. And the fluorine with that is to two p five sixteen eighty kilojoules per mole. So this is about the regular periodic trends of ionization enthalpy. Uh, when we are moving from left to right hand side, there is a gradual increase is possible. That is purely because of size is gradually decreasing. And uh, ionization energy we also called as we have alternative way, alternative way of pronunciation of this ionization energy. Ionization energy alternatively denoted as ionization potential. So the potential, which is the ability of the atom to remove the electron by giving extra energy, is denoted as ionization potential. That is measured in electron volts. Ionization energy measured in kilojoules per mole. Ionization potential is measured in kilo uh, electron volts per atom. 
right so these electron volts per atom of uh, ionization energy values in uh, each period end groups are provided in the table so hydrogen with 13.5 lithium with 5.3 uh, sodium here if you see the quantified values what you can observe in a group there is a gradual decrease in the ionization potential values in the electron volts you can observe as we are moving from lithium to beryllium 5 to 9 and beryllium to boron 8 carbon 11 and nitrogen 14 exceptional oxygen 13 fluorine 17 neon 21 so always higher uh, ionization energy values are assigned for the is called a zero group elements. These are exceptional. Why? Because all are associated with the completely stable electronic configuration. It's very, very difficult to remove the electron because there is no valency, no tendency to lose the electron, either gain the electron because of that exceptional, extremely large ionization potential values are assigned for uh, uh, noble gas elements like uh, 24.5, 21.5, 15.7, 14, 12, and 10. So that's the reason why these are uh, not having any tendency to lose or gain the electrons in general. But this is the general uh, periodic table with respect to ionization energy values. Now, ionization potential values of various elements represent in the ring in terms of kilo per mole. Kilojoules per mole is nothing but the parameter is ionization energy. If consider ionization potential, that is electrons. Ionization energy is kilojoules per mole. Kilojoules per mole values are provided here. Hydrogen with 13, 12, lithium gradually decreasing and reaches minimum. And move on to left to right hand side, lithium with a 520 and uh, it reaches maximum 1685 from left to right hand side. So these are the general trends of periodic table in a, a group as well as in a period in terms of kilojoules per mole. Move on to ionization potential values. So there are certain values like uh, removing only one electron called first. After one electron, second electron is also removed called second ionization enthalpy. Third electron, fourth electron, fifth and sixth. To remove. If you consider hydrogen, always hydrogen will be electron, right? So that reason why only for helium it will be 2372. And uh, second most electron, in order to remove second electron, 5220. So in this manner, in order to remove, always first ionization to second, there will be a rise. Second to third, still higher value is there. Third to fourth, still extremely large value. Fourth to fifth, again, you can find a greater difference. So sixth, if a larger value, you can observe. Size is possible and difficult to remove one more electron. That's the reason we always, first to second, second to third, third to fourth. In this manner, there is a gradual increase in the ionization potential values are possible. And this is about uh, the periodic trends in uh, as well as uh, periods with respect to ionizing energy values. Amount of energy required to remove the electron from the gaseous atom is denoted as ionization enthalpy. Hope this session will be helpful for your preparation. Thank you very much for your consistent listening. Thank you one and all.